In today's tutorial, let's work on the Starfish Beach Bag. This is one of the tutorials that we taught on the Crochet Cruises. Let's begin right after this. Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd as well as Yarnspirations.com. I'm your host Mikey. Today we're going to work on the Starfish Beach Bag. This is one project that we taught on the Crochet Cruises in 2016 and this one actually stumped a few of the crocheters because of the way that it was working around. So today's tutorial is actually helping the crochet cruisers actually finish their stuff but it's also for everybody else that would like to begin to do this. This is not as hard as it looks when you break it down step by step and we're planning on doing that today. So let's work on some of the stuff that you can see in the pattern today. First of all we have three colors that you can see here. It looks like that there's something kind of weird going on within the, the starfish itself but in actual fact what you're looking at is actually tie-dyed version so it looks like it's washing out a bit. So it is the lily sugar and cream and there's a tie-dyed version and it looks really quite neat. And we also have blue jeans which are these here and we also have yellow and I'm gonna be substituting with this blue because I can't use white on my background today. So we need to make these motifs and there's a total of 10 of them and there's an assembly diagram here and when you go to sew them together you're gonna to sew them so that five are together here and then the other five are here and it's just offsetted. And these marks here, do you see the little ticks here? This tick matches this tick so when you go to fold it around you're going to sew this edge to this edge, this edge, to this edge and this edge to this edge and then you're gonna sew along the bottom as it goes. But today it's even better because we have a diagram to be able to follow and today I'm gonna be showing you that. I've also done a blown up version for myself in order to teach you how to do this. So this is a crochet diagram and this is a regular circle kind of idea where what's happening on the top is happening all the way around but they're showing you the whole thing. So don't get confused by that. So what I did for myself is that I took the diagram and I blew it up to massive proportion here because it's important because where the crocheters on the cruise were getting confused were right in this section right here because what happens here if you follow the black around you'll see that there's no black uh, single crochet over this one here and you'll see that it jumps right over. So we're skipping st uh, stitches right in this section here and because of that that's where the com uh, crocheters were getting confused on their counts. So what's really important on this whole thing is that you be able to count up on one side and then come down the other side with the same count and then again skipping over. So you can see that there's a plus sign here but there's not one right over top of this one so we're skipping and then going over here. There of course there is written instructions if you prefer that and today we're gonna work step by step. These are not as hard. There's only nine rounds in this and we're gonna get started right after this. So to do this project it's recommending Let's see what it's recommending today. It is rec recommending a size four millimeter, a G crochet hook today and it's got all the breakdowns of what you need and of course the written instructions if you prefer and of course the abbreviations are there as well. So before we get started let me share something about this particular pattern. So the star itself is actually made of the stripes, okay, the lily sugar and cream stripes and so this is transitioning from white to blue within the ball itself. You can see that it's not kind of equal so it gives a really neat effect. So this one here is more white and then to blue. This is the yarn doing the transition of color. So if you would like to change colors at any point in this tutorial um, in this particular star that's completely up to you. For myself I'm gonna make mine a solid blue and then it just kind of uh, makes it easier to teach but of course you can change whatever you prefer. Throughout today's tutorial I am gonna continue to come back to my blown up version to show exactly where we are to show you where you should be on the pattern and then continue from this point forward. This is just a more of an illustration to show you what uh, where you need to be and it just hopefully will help you at the same time in order to read crochet patterns. So let's begin the starting and we're going to create a slip knot and we're going to chain two to begin. So insert your hook and chain two. So one and two and let's go already to the first round. So coming into the very start of the chain, the first chain here, I want you to single crochet six times into that same spot. So one and it's gonna go in a circle, two, now leave that straggler down in around there so it gets stuck underneath and this is gonna be number three and four and five and six and what I want you to do is this join this to the beginning single crochet. If you're confused on what you're looking at just count back. So one, two, three, four, five and six. Okay. From experience I knew that was there but I just want you to have a double check just to make sure. So we're gonna go right into this very first 
single crochet that you started with. It's a little tight right off the beginning and um, I'm just gonna join it and that completes off round number one. Because I had this buried, this back piece here, I'm gonna take that out now so that you don't have to see that in the rest of this tutorial and now the, the starting string is now completely gone. So let's move along to round number two. Coming back to my diagram, I've now completed round number one and I'm just gonna highlight them as I go. Now I'm gonna go for round number two and as you can see in round number two, we're gonna chain up one first and then put two single crochets into the same stitch underneath and then two into the next one and you cannot see this around but because it, it's a mirror so there's two into the next, two into the next and when you see it back over here, you see it's two again. So let's move along to round number two. Let's begin round number two. We're gonna chain up one first and just coming into the same stitch right underneath, I want you to put two single crochets into that same stitch. The first round I always find is kinda tight. Also my tension is a little tight from the ball too so that's not helping me at all. So come into each stitch going all the way around with two single crochets each. It's taking its time to get bigger which is a good thing in this particular bag. So just going all the way around and it should get easier from this point forward as well as far as like tension and stuff. Okay and coming into the last stitch, oh sorry I'm not into the last stitch yet, sorry about that. Rushing ahead. So I got two, four, six, eight, ten. So I got one more stitch to go. So you're gonna think to yourself, okay this is where crocheters went wrong on the ship. So a lot of people think that this stitch, this is a stitch here and they add an extra one so therefore their counts are off. This is just an extension of this one here. It's leaning up over to it. So if you can count backward, there should be a total of twelve. So let's count backwards. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. See? So you have your twelve in there which is two per stitch. So you're just gonna reach on over to the first single crochet and slip stitch and see it closed it off. So a lot of people add an extra stitch right at that particular point every time they do a circle which then throws all the counts off. So that was round number two. Let's move along to round number three. Back to the diagram now ready for round number three. Do you see a commonality? Do you see that this one is more grayed out? It's more grayed out because the three is over top of it and the designer wants you to see the numbers three, four, five, and six. You'll see it grayed out here. Those are physically stitches. They're just harder to see but it's there. So number three is exactly like number two. We're gonna chain up one and put two stitches in each one of the stitches going all the way around. Okay and you can see it's gonna go down and then come back and you'll see it up here and make sure you catch that last one. So let's move along to round number three. Let's begin round number three. We're gonna chain up one and then coming into the same stitch right underneath you're gonna put two double or two single crochets into that same stitch and then two all the way around. So it's again just continue to go all the way around. Do not mess up and go too many stitches because you have gotta get that one that's gonna reach over and you're gonna go all the way around with two single crochets into each. So that's pretty straightforward so I'll see you at the end of this round. I'm coming up all the way around. I have one more stitch to go. It looks like there's two. Remember that this final one is the one that's reaching over so do not do that one. And if you're, if you're concerned at all, just count and be sure but it should be right. So let's just join it then to the beginning single crochet and that completes off round number three. So round number four, we're gonna take a little bit of a turn in this pattern and I'll show you what to do with that one. Let me bring back the diagram. So we're about to begin round number four. So number four is where we're gonna start making the legs for the starfish if you're called legs or whatever they're called. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off and we're gonna chain one and put one single crochet into the same one and then we're gonna move to the next one in single crochet. But look what happens. We're now gonna start doing all this chain work up here and then start single crocheting along back to the chain and come back down and we in, in the next immediate one we're gonna single crochet. Do you see that? So you can see that if you're following it around it's gonna go up and then back down and the next four in a row are gonna be single crochets here and then it's gonna go back out again and then come around. So when you come back all the way around this thing is that you're gonna come up over here and then back down and then finish it with the two. So when we go to start off in the middles right here, we're gonna start only in the halfway point just to get ourselves up and then when we finish, we finish the other side. So just remember that there's four single crochets in each and there's no skipping of any stitches in round number three and if you can remember that, that's a lot easier. So let's test you and let's go for number four. So let's begin round number four. So we're gonna chain up one first and in the same one right below, we're gonna do one single crochet 
and then the next one we're gonna do one single crochet. And now we're gonna start one of those leggy things. So to do one of those leggy things we have to chain seven to begin. So let's do that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And now we want to single crochet ourselves back along this chain and back down to, to this here. So you're gonna go second chain from the hook. Just turn it over and get the back loop only. It will be a better look in your, in your project and start single crocheting. There will be a total of six. So let's count those down. So one and two and I recommend that you count as well as three. Counts are really important and we got four and five. I wanna make sure I get all the plies. It's a five and six. So we wanna take it. So we got all six in. So now I wanna make sure that we're looking at the correct side. So this is the back side. See how it looks different? So I wanna come back to the side that I was working on. It will kinda twist on you and come back into the next single crochet and in this one plus the next three which will be four in a row will be single crochets. So this is two, three, and four. So let's do another leg. Okay, so we're gonna chain how many? It's seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then coming back down into the second chain from the hook, single crochet yourself back and there will be a total of six. So one, two, you can see this on the diagram as well. Three or read it in the pattern. Four, five, and six. So now that you got your six in there, you satisfied that, come back into the next stitch that's available to you and it's the next four. So one, two, three, and for it. So I'm gonna leave the rest of this round for you and I'll meet you back at the end where I'll show you how to finish off this round. So this is round number four. So I'm coming up all the way around. My last kind of leggy finny thing is there and I'm coming back down to the work and there's two stitches left over. Okay and those are the final two single crochets that you end up with. So one and two and you're going to join with the top of the beginning single crochet. Okay, so that's how you would do this uh, round here. So you see that it's kind of like little things hanging out. So these are like the foundation of the legs to begin. So it's important that you keep your counts. Let's go back to the crochet diagram and let's review round number five. Now we're ready for round number five. So round number five is gonna get really interesting now. So we're going to start up and we're going to chain up one and then single crochet in the first one. But do you notice that there's a blue one here and there's no black one? Uh, single crochet right over top. That means that we're skipping a stitch. So if you can remember that it makes it a lot easier when we go to do this. And we're going to be going along this, the back of the chain. So because I had you go in the back loop you're gonna be able to see these stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, five and on the sixth one we're gonna put in three into the end and then we're just gonna immediately jump to the other side and then put two in the first one and then one, two, three, four, five. So why do you think that they're putting in three in the top here and only two in this side? That's because that usually semicircles have an odd number. So for example, do you see how you have one here and you have a middle and one here? That's an odd number. So you, what you have to do in here is that they're telling you to put three on one side and, f and two on the other. That gives you five. So this action one that's leaning over to the middle is actually the middle um, one of this particular leg. So we're gonna come all, all the way around and you'll notice that when you come back down on round number five again this blue one is skipped over and it's just two. So what we're going to do then, do you see how we've gone four uh, single crochets in round number four. Well in the next round there's only gonna be two single crochets and it'll be right directly in the middle. And jumping ahead to round number six you'll see that these two then become into one with and as we get more and more narrow. So that's really the key element to look at is to just to remember what we're doing here. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five up and then we're gonna do the fancy footwork of three into the same and then two into the other side and one, two, three, four, five back down and then skipping over to the middle. So the secret answer on this one here and I would write it down for myself because I did for seven here. I would write the number five and that will make it a little bit easier for you. So it's round number five but it also happens to be five single crochets. So let's test you. Let's see if you're gonna do this one right. 
So let's begin round number five. We're gonna chain up one first and so of the stitch work here is that there was four here in the bottom okay and in this time for round number five only the two middle ones are gonna be absorbed with single crochets and the other on the outside will be just left empty that we skipped over. So that we're gonna single crochet into the same stitch that we just did the slip stitch out of. So we chained one slip stitch into the same or single crochet into the same one. Skip the next one here and we're gonna work ourselves up the side of this. So it's one, two, three, four, and five and then the end one is the six which is that fancy footwork. So let's start off. So we're gonna go in to the first one. So let's just count it out together. So one and then keep going up. Two, three, four, and five. And now the next stitch is the one, let me finish five. The next stitch then is the one that has the three in it. So there's gonna be three single crochets into this one. So it's gonna be one, two, and you're gonna see it's gonna wanna turn around on its own, and three. And now we come to the immediately to the other side here. So you can just count it back. So one, two, three, four, five. So you can just count it. It's right there. Okay, so just use your counting skills. So right one, two, three, four, five is all single crochets. The sixth one has the two in there. Okay, so we're gonna put two into this one. And you see that even though it looks weird in the diagram, it actually does the perfect round circle that you need on the end. So let's just single crochet the next five down the strip. So one, two, three, four, and five. So we're back now down to the main center. There is four in here. Remember that we're not going into all four. We're only going into the middle two. So skip the next one and just single crochet into the next two. So one and two and let's do another leg together. So again skip the next one and come up to the next leg and it's gonna be five in a row of single crochets. So one, two, three, four, and five. And now the sixth one is gonna be the one with the three in there. So let's put three into that one. So one, two, and three. And again I would count backward from the this one. So, so right from the base. So one, two, three, four, five. So the sixth one is right there. I would know that from an experienced crochet of, of doing this pattern already but I wanna give you some visual aids on what you need to look for. So we're putting in two into that one and then we start single crocheting back down. So one, two, three, four, and five. So there's your five. Again you're back down to the middle. You've got four there but you're gonna skip the first one and just single crochet into the next two and then skip the next one and go back up the other leg. So please do the rest of these um, these uh, legs on your own and I'll be back in just a moment. As you get around on round number five the final uh, ones that we have to skip. So I've come all the way down. I'm skipping the next one and I'm just single crocheting into the second one over. Okay, so make sure that you don't forget that. So you gotta still skip that one and by skipping to the second one over you are satisfying the need that there's only two single crochets in the middle. Okay, so then you're just gonna join it to the beginning single crochet. So in this uh, round number five there should have only been two single crochets right in the middle and uh, we have that here as well as all the way around. And you'll see that these are starting to thicken up and let's move on to round number six and let's bring up our diagram once again. So let's review round number six. So round number six is kinda looking weird here but let's go back over to here and you'll see that there's two single crochets that make up one. Okay, so two are together. In the way that we start with this particular pattern is that we're going to chain up one and one single crochet in here. So when we come all the way back around we're just gonna join with that so we're not worrying about doing two together like we see over here. So we, what we need to do then is that we're not skipping any stitches on this particular round at all um, like we were because you can kind of see in round number five that there was no plus sign here. There's no single crochet even though there was one right underneath. Here we're just immediately jumping to all the stitches. So there's gonna be a total of six single crochets in a row before we get to the fancy footwork up here. So it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then what we're gonna be doing is that we're gonna be doing uh, a single crochet, half double crochet, and then we move to the next stitch for there be a half double crochet, a full double crochet, a half double crochet, and then the next stitch will be a half double crochet 
and a single crochet and there will be another six going down. So one, two, three, four, five and six of single crochet and the two in the middle will then be, become two um, single crochet together and then we move back up again. So one, two, three, four, five and six and then the next one is the single crochet half double and then you can see half double double and half. So it's actually not a hard round um, it's just a matter of mastering that very middle part. So let's try it and see if you can do round number six. So let's begin round number six. We're gonna start off by chaining one and we're gonna single crochet into the same stitch. And what we want to do then is that we want to move up and we're not skipping any stitches and there will be six single crochets in a row. So let's move up to the next stitch. So one, two, three, four, five and six. So the next stitch is the second one in of the three and if you, you can see that on the diagram. So there's gonna be a single crochet first into that stitch and then we're gonna follow into the same stitch with a half double. So we're gonna wrap the hook first going into the same stitch, pull through and pull through all three. Okay, this is the middle one. It looks like the middle two and there's gonna be a half double in that one and then followed by a double crochet into that one and then a half double into that one again. And now we're gonna come up onto the other side. So the next one is gonna be a half double first, then a single crochet into the same one and then we're gonna move all the way back down again. So the next sti six will all just be single crochets. So let's do that. So one, two, three, four, five and six. Now the ones that are right in, in the middle, do you see that there's two right in the middle? Those are gonna be come together as one. So it's a single crochet two together. So just insert into the next single crochet, pull through, insert into the next crochet stitch and pull through. You have three loops on your hook, pull through all three and that just becomes one. So the next six are gonna work our way up to the next one. So let's do that. So one, and two, three, four, five and six and now we're gonna start going up over the top. So the next one is a single crochet first into the same one or sorry into this next one and then a half double into the same one. Okay now we're gonna do the middle one so there's gonna be a half double followed by a double and a half double. So there's three stitches in that one and now we're gonna go up over the other side. So the first one is a half double to the next stitch followed by a single into the same stitch and now we're gonna come back down again. So let's do the next six. So one, two, three, four, five and six and now you're back down to the middle again. So there's the middle two. We're gonna make those in together as one. So pull through and just go into the next one and pull through. You have three loops on the hook, pull through all three and now move it back up six and then go up over the edge just like you were on the other one. So you can see that there's a big difference between the last round, uh, this one and here. So please do that all the way around and I'll see you at the back or at the end of this round. So as I'm about to finish round number six, I wanna show you here. So remember how I said that you were not skipping over any stitches just <laughs> before I let you go? Do you see how there's one that's grayed out? You were actually physically skipping this last stitch here. So before you were putting two together as one. So in this one here, you're just physically, once you get your six down in, you're just gonna join it to the top here. So these two just became one. So just uh, remember to do that and I'll show you that here and let me pull up the uh, project and finish this round. So I'm just coming up all the way around. My six are in and I'm just going to skip over this last stitch and then just join it together with the very first single crochet. It kind of hides in there anyway so you don't even have to see it. So let's move along and to round number seven. In round number seven things are gonna slightly change a little bit and let's begin. This is the last time we'll be working on the star itself, the starfish and then we start doing the border work around the star. So we're now moving up to round number seven. In round number seven it's gonna start off slightly different is that we are right here where we joined and you'll see that these are black dots. These are called uh, uh, slip stitches. That one. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm stumbling over that. So they're called slip stitches. So we have to slip once we get this finished which we've already done. We have to slip stitch over the first three. So one, two and three 
and then chain up one and then single crochet into this one. The reason why is that we need to get this whole um, three together double crochets put together uh, but we can't do it right away because of where we are in this situation. So as we come up all the way around we're going to do our single crochets. So there'll be one, two, three, four, five and six. So we have our six again. I'm just gonna write that down before I forget. So I got six here and then what we're going to do is the fancy footwork. So then the seventh will have two single crochets. Then the next one right in the middle will have a single crochet half double single crochet into the same one and the other side there will be two and then we're gonna come down and there should be six just like there is here. So one, two, three, four, five and six. I'm gonna write that down so I have six and then the next we're gonna skip one stitch here. Do you see that? We're gonna skip one stitch because there's nothing there and we're gonna do these three together right here. We're gonna skip the next stitch here and we're going to then do up your six. So why did you not skip a stitch over here? The in actual fact you did. So the second one of the slip stitches is actually skipped. When you really look at it here, see that there's nothing really over it. You get that? So hopefully that makes sense to you. So without further ado let's move on to round number seven. This is the final round of the starfish and you can see that the stitches are gonna get much bigger and those are the, the, the rounds going all the way uh, as far as like making it to the hexagon shape. So let's begin to do that next. So let's begin to do round number seven. We're gonna slip stitch right where we are now. We're gonna slip stitch to the next three. So just move to the next one and slip. So one, move to the next one, two and slip and three and slip just like that. So now you moved over. So now we're going to chain up one and right where you've just done the slip stitch I need you to put in six single crochets in a row. So we're gonna start there. So we're gonna go one and then keep going two, three, four, five and six. So you got your six in a row to satisfy this pattern. So, then so now that my six are in the next one is gonna be two double or two single crochets into the same one. This one here we're on the peak of it uh, of the point and in this one here there's going to be a single crochet followed by a half double crochet followed by a single crochet into that same one. And then we come back down the other side. So the first one is gonna be two single crochets like it was on the other side and then the next six are going to come all the way down. So let's do that. So one, two, three, four, five and six. So now that we have our six down we're gonna skip over one stitch. Okay, so we're gonna skip over the next one and the next three right in the middle will be together. Okay, so we're gonna skip one stitch. So how to do that is that you wrap the hook and going to the, skip the first one, go to the second one over, pull through and pull through two and hold. Wrap the hook and going into the next one, pull through pull through two and hold and then go into the next one, pull through, uh, pull through, pull through two and hold. You'll have four loops on your hook and pull through all four. We're gonna skip the next stitch and then just go to the second one over and we're gonna single crochet six up the other side. So one, two, three, four, five and six and the next one is gonna have two single crochets in there. So one and two and then the next one is a single crochet. This is the middle one. So it's single crochet, half double and single crochet into that one. So you got three stitches into that one. Coming down to the other side now you're gonna have two single crochets to begin. So one and two and then the next six will be on its own. So let's go down to that. So one two, three, four, five and six and now we're gonna start doing the middle stuff. So we skip the next stitch and go to the second one over and we're gonna put three together like we did before. Okay, you got your four loops on your hook, pull through, skip the next stitch and then just start single crocheting up for six. So please do that same thing going all the way around. You can see it's really starting to thicken up now. So as I come all, all the way back around you can see it's really starting to fill in now is that I skip the next stitch and then the next three are together. Okay, a, a double crochet is together. 
and as I promised in the last, so I'll put those together. So as I promised in the last uh, one, the next one here is skipped. You skip the one over here and then to finish this round we just have to slip stitch to the beginning single crochet that you started with here. So now this color is now finished. Uh, we have now a blue starfish and now we're gonna start doing the exterior to fill it in to make it the hexagon shape. So what I want you to do is I don't want you to trim this yarn now and you can move on to a different color. I don't think there's any point of doing a whole solid color of one of these. I think it's uh, neater if the colors are changed. So I'm just weaving these in and out of some of the stitch work. You can use a darning needle if you wish to strengthen it up. Uh, but I think that I have confidence in that as well to do it this way. So I wanna make a note of where I am in this pattern because I'm gonna wanna start exactly where I left off with the next color. So let's begin to do the next color now and let's bring up the diagram and let's see what's next. So round number eight we're gonna start and we have two rounds to go before the end. So this is one round and next one. So you're gonna notice here that the chain is moved over. So right where we finished off and everything is slip stitch, when we start this one we have to move to the third single crochet over and then do our attachment and then chain up a three which counts as a double crochet. And the next one is a half double and then uh, we have how many? So one, two, three, four singles and then the ones in the middle there will be a two into each and then we continue around. So one, two, three, four and then a half double and then a double and then we're gonna do these uh, trebles, three um, trebles together and then continue up and over. So basically these trebles that you kinda see here is making it so that it can grow longer so to get into the hexagon shape right here and as it gets over top the stitches get smaller in order to keep the shape. So without further ado let's try round number eight. So let's begin round number eight. I'm just gonna take my next color. It'll happen to be yellow. Big shocker I know. So what we're gonna have is that we have the three together that were over here and where we joined it. Okay, so what we have to do is that this is the first single crochet and we have to move to the third one. So go one, two and three. Okay, it's the third one in and insert your hook and insert the yarn around. Let the straggler just fall out of the way for now and we just joined it and now we're going to chain up three which counts as a double crochet. So we got one, two, three. Put this straggler down on top of the line as you're now crocheting the next part. So the next stitch will be a half double. So just follow along. So the next one is a half double and the next four are all single crochets each. So just going in. So keeping this straggler down on top it'll get stuck underneath. So one, two, three and four. So in the next three stitches there there's gonna be and the, you can see that's right at the end anyway. That's where it should be is that there are gonna be two single crochets each. So one and two and do the next one. One and two. So that's the middle one of the three and do the next one. One and two. So let's come down the other side. If you remember there's gonna be four single crochets in a row. So one two, three and four. The next one is a half double coming around. The next one is a double crochet and I didn't talk about this in the uh, when I was doing the review but you're gonna skip the next one, next stitch here and go for the middle three that you, that you can see here. Okay, so we're gonna skip this first one and we're gonna skip the last one and these are gonna be three together uh, trebles. So we're gonna wrap the hook twice. So skip the first one, go to the second, pull through, pull through two and two and hold it. Do not finish that stitch. Go into the next one. So wrap the hook twice into the next stitch, pull through, pull through two and two and hold. Do the next one. So wrap twice, going into the next stitch, pull through two and two and hold. So now you have four loops on your hook. You can see these three are together. Pull through all four loops. So we skip the next stitch and then go and double crochet into the next one. So let's do another side just to make sure you got it. So double crochet. The next one is a half double and then the next four are singles. So one, two, three and four. Now the next three in a row and they're right at the point anyway is gonna be two singles into each. So one and then do the next one. So there will be two into this one as well. Excuse me I dropped my stitch and the next one is the third one in a row and it will be two into that one. 
So let's move down the other side. So there's gonna be four singles in a row. So one and two, three and four and now we're gonna get bigger. So we're, the next one will be half double. So one and then the next one is gonna be a double. And then we skip the next stitch and the next three after that are the trebles together. So we wrap the hook twice. So skip the next one, go to the second one over and do your togethers for your treble. So wrap the hook twice, pull through and through and keep gathering them until you get four loops on your hook which is a total of three of these trebles. Just like you see, pull through all of them, skip the next stitch and then double crochet into the next one after that. And then continue that same thing going all the way around. So you can see it's gonna start getting more hexag hexagonal and I'll see you back here and I'll show you how to finish this round and do the final round number eight with you or round number nine. So I'm coming up all the way back around and my final is doing the trebles together and I wanna make sure that everything is together with those and I'm pulling it through. I've already done my uh, double crochet coming up the other side so I just wanna attach to the top of the double crochet that's already there. Okay, so there is that round and uh, turned out really good. Quite happy with that. And let's move along to the final round, round number nine. Let's bring back the diagram once again. So if you've gotten this far in the tutorial, do not give up. This one is kind of a tricky little round. Uh, what we're going to do is that we're going to start here. So we've done our slip stitch to the top of the chain three and we need to slip stitch over to the second one over. So we're gonna just go over, so one and two and then chain up four. This chaining of four counts as a treble just like you see on this side. We then in the next stitch we're going to double. The next two are halves and the next three are all single crochets. Where you're gonna get confused is that you can see that these three are pointing but there's no stitch right underneath. There's a space and you're gonna jam these three into the space between the double crochets, sorry the single crochets that are in the middle. So do you see that there's groups of three? It's in between the space between them. Okay, so it's not in the top of the stitch and then you're gonna put in a single crochet for the next um, um, three and then you're gonna go a half double for the next two and then one and then keep on going. So let's review and show you how to do this. So right where we finished off we're in the top of the chain three as promised and we need to slip stitch two over and if you're looking at it here we're slipping stitch over to the first single crochet. So let's move over two. So let's just slip stitch over two so that was the half and then this one is the single crochet. Now we're gonna begin from this point. So we're going to chain up four which counts as a treble. So one, two, three, three and four. The next one is just going to be a double crochet. The next two are halves. So just half double crochets. The next three are all single crochets. So one, two, and I wanna point out something. So do you notice right underneath here is that it's already got the two in there. Okay, and then this one will be the third. Okay, so the third one is in the first one of the middle of the two, two groups. Okay, do you see that? So there's two there, two and two. This is the middle one. So the third one was into the first one of that. So you wanna go not into a stitch but you wanna jam it into a space between. Okay, so you're just gonna jam it into a space in between and put in three single crochets. So one, two and three. So now that you have your three into the corner, I really cannot see the top of that stitch that we worked with. So just put in an extra one. This is to fourth and that'll keep it back in balance for you. It's a way to trade the system. This is what I would do if you weren't watching me. So let's uh, continue along. So, so what I just did there is that I put three in the space. I couldn't find the top of that second stitch. So I just, just put enough four in there instead of just three. Now I'm gonna continue down the other side. So the next three will be single crochets each. So one, two and three. The next one will be a half double for two in a row. So one and two. Okay, the next one is going to be a double crochet. The next one is going to be a treble. So wrap that hook twice and going into that same, going into the next stitch. So, th so now we're going to do the three together and so what we have to do is we have to skip one stitch and then just skip one stitch and go to the next three and put three trebles together. 
So just continuing to move along the, the base here. So there's your three and then pull through all three. We skip the next stitch and then we treble into the next one after that. There you go. The next one is going to be a double. So we're just working up what we already know and then the next two are gonna be halves and then the next three are singles. So one, two, and three. We're back on the middle one here again and now it says to put it into the space in between. So let's put in three more. So one into the space, two, and three. If you can't find it, which I can't find it uh, on the top here, just put an extra one in there as well. Everything is so tight on my stitches I can't see it. And now the next three are going to be singles. So one, two, and three. Okay, the next one is a is um, half double for two. So one and continuing along the next one is a half double there. The next one is a treble or sorry a double. The next one is a treble. So skipping the next stitch we wanna put three together. So skip that one and put the next three together. We're doing trebles. Get your four loops on your hook and then pull through all. Skip the next stitch that's right there and just treble into the next one after that and then work your back way back up just like you know. So as you're working around you will notice that this is turned into a complete hexagon at this point. So let me uh, just get all the way around and I'll show you just how to fasten off and then we'll just review the assembly of this project. So I'm just finishing up uh, coming all the way back around and it's three together trebles there that we're doing and then I'm pulling through all four loops and then I just have to just attach it to the beginning single or uh, chain four that I started with. So now you're just gonna fasten this off and one of these motifs are now complete. Again you can have a lot of fun with the colors in this particular one. The next part of this tutorial I'm just gonna review the assembly instructions. So you have to make a total of ten of these and then just sew them together and again use their darning needle if, um, for attaching things together and even hiding in loose ends if you need to. So without further ado let's uh, continue along in this journey and let's uh, just review the assembly instructions now. So you will need a total of 10 of these motifs together and you can see the crochet diagram or the diagram of the assembly here and you can see that all of the 10 are together. So you just put them together in one line and the next ones are just slightly offset from each other just kind of like a honeycomb shape. You will notice that there is ticks. So there's one tick here. So this means this is the sewing line. So you're gonna sew all this together so it looks like this. Then take this edge and sew it to this one because it has the same tick. And then this edge here with the two when you fold it around it'll sew here and then you're gonna take this um, tick here and you're gonna sew and then whatever you have in the uh, remaining here you'll see that you'll just have to sew all your sides together. And because of the way that you're sewing them it'll have a nice flat bottom just like so. So you have to watch for that. So now let's review on the bag itself. So once you get this all put together all you need, just need to do is around the top of the edge where you're going to see them all. You're just gonna follow it with a single crochet up and down as you go around the top edge of your whole bag. So let me just pull up the photo here. So if you watch it, it's just using a different color. She's just following it here and on the points here, this is where the bag is being attached for the handles. And so you just have to look at this and just determine uh, where you wanna attach. So you just have to look at this and determine where you're going to attach this and let me just review on how to make one of these handles. You have to make two of them and then you'll sew on your handles after that. If you wanna do a, a loop here all you just gotta do in the middle of the bag on one side is just create a chain 20 loop and then you can just uh, sew on a button on the front side and then it just clips into position just like that if you would like to have it so that it closes. Let's review on how to do the handle. To do the handle you're going to start off with a slip knot. I'm just using yellow just because I don't wanna waste yarn. So what I want to do is that I need to chain 84. So you're just gonna go along and chain 84. I'm only gonna do 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And you need to chain 84 in order to make this happen. Now what you're going to do is just come along the chain 
and you're going to do four chain from the hook. So one, two, three, and four and double crochet yourself all the way back across the chain. So let's just do that. So just double crocheting down the chain. Of course your chain will obviously be a lot longer. So once you get all the way down the end of the chain we need to fold the, the bag handle in order to do the next part. So you're just gonna take the whole length of it and just fold it equally in half. Okay, so when you go to fold it you're not gonna fold it, watch this, you're not gonna fold it like this. You're gonna fold it so that these stitches are kinda turned into each other. So this would be kinda like this. So let's uh, just come right back and I'll show you how to do that. So let's fold this in half. So this is where I just finished. So I'm not turning the work. I'm just leaving it just so that I can see the good side. The wrong side is gonna be the side that is exposed to the outside of this bag. So what you're just gonna do is just you're going to insert your hook okay into the top. So just gonna immediately go into the top loop here and just get the corresponding one on the other side and you are going to pull through and just single crochet. So then you just move to the next corresponding loop. So just go to the next one here and to the corresponding loop on the bottom and single crochet. So it takes a little bit of getting used to this but what this is doing is sticking it up and just come to the next one and to the next one on the bottom and you're gonna do this all the way down. So once you've done that then you, you're completely finished off and then all we just need to do then is sew the handles to the bags and what I would recommend is get the bag all assembled first get your trim done on to the top like I kinda talked about already and then sew in your, your handles as the last step that you need to do in order to make this bag. So this is how you would do it all the way around. Uh, for these handles you need to make a total of two of them. Okay again you have to get your rhythm in order to get it right. I haven't, I haven't done this in a long time so I'm not as smooth on camera as I would like to be but you know just give me a couple of these handles and I can probably whip them together pretty good. So just single crochet and at the end just uh, uh, just fasten off so just weave in your ends and then you can use a long, leave a long tail on this and use that as a sewing needle as well. So that would be what the bag handle would look like. So I wanna wish you good luck. I think this is a pretty cool bag. It's uh, pretty easy to do. You can actually do this as a dishcloth if you wanted to as well but uh, either way it's uh, kind of a neat idea. So until next time I'm Mikey on behalf of the Crochet Crowd as well as Yarnspirations.com. Have a great day and we'll see you again real soon. Bye bye.